So what we want to do next is we want to detail our clouds further using an additional volume texture. Essentially, like we want to apply some kind of erosion details to the edges of the cloud. So to do that, let's just move all of these forward. I'm going to duplicate this and grab uh, erosion noise. All right. Also, aside from the erosion um, texture here, I need a mask so I can select uh, the, the edges on the top part of the cloud. So one quick way to get such a thing is we can use the cloud sample attribute and then grab the normalized altitude in layer. Then gonna add some scalars here so I can control um, the range of this mask. So I'm gonna say, um, let's say height um, mask multiplier. Let's set this to something like um, two. And then we, we can contrast this further. So let's use um, height contrast mask contrast all right um might be ideal here to to clamp it between zero and one let's set this to three Okay, now we will multiply this like that. All right, and then for this one, we want to add some controls too. So I'm going to say erosion contrast and erosion intensity erosion intensity let's add them to erosion group all right And then we want to subtract this, all right? Now, one thing obviously is missing is the UVs, uh, the, the UVW coordinates for the volume texture. So for that, we will just copy this, all right? And here I'm gonna choose erosion scale and set it to something like 50 give it the same group erosion and for the wind stuff uh, i want the erosion to be moving um, um the erosion volume i want it to be moving in the opposite direction uh, of the wind direction it will give the illusion uh, of uh, you know um like fake fl fluid simulation or something like that right as clouds moves forward you know particles um moves uh, sideways and stuff like this so let's add um, the offset okay so i'm gonna say add and then here i'm gonna say multiply by erosion skit Set it to erosion group. And this one needs to be minus zero three. Let's add these like that. Okay. Now with this in place, uh, let's initialize these two, something like four, zero point two five. Okay, now we can apply this 
and wait for it to recompile. So once Twin is uh, recompiling, you can open the material instance and let's tweak some of these parameters, like the erosion scale. Let's just set it to something maybe like like this and then the height mask multiplier let's just um reduce it just a little bit like this now we have the height mask contrast we can also tweak that the erosion intensity okay Zero one five zero one eight seven five. Okay, let's see how this looks. All right, let's just try to change the sun direction so we can get some interesting shadows. Okay, um, maybe we want to tweak the occlusion parameter here, multi-scattering occlusion, 0 0.2, and then you have the cloud density, you can set it something like that. And now this is what we got. All right you can also tweak the erosion speed if you want you can tweak the scale but for now i guess um this should be enough